Well, Superman has his Fortress of Solitude, and Bruce Wayne, he's got the Bad Cave, and me, the Menzoid, I've got the Menzoid Man Cave, a place to sit back, relax, talk about the issues of the day, and I'm very happy to have back in the Man Cave with me today, Sun News reporter extraordinaire, Faith Goldie. <laughs> good to be well, back, Menzoid. Good to be back, and I'm about to wish you a happy Easter, whoa. this being Good Friday. Whoa, whoa. I know, I, I might have stepped over the proverbial line. You know, Faith, we've had over the years, let's see, the war on Christmas, the war on Thanksgiving, well, although it's only PETA waging that <laughs> war, uh, the war on Remembrance Day by the anti-war people. But here we go again. Uh, apparently, we're in the beginning genesis of the war on Easter. Uh, Newspeg Heritage Elementary School in Madison, Alabama, is taking the word Easter out of Easter. What does this mean? Well, they'll still tolerate somebody dressed as a giant bunny. It won't be the Easter bunny, just simply bunny. Um, Easter eggs will just be eggs. Oh, and they do, they would prefer if the spheres were a different shape, you know. Um, Faith, what, what is going on here? This seems to me this whole idea of, it's almost like cultural suicide that we're undergoing here, that we're so ashamed of the um, Christian roots of the country that we can't even refer to these holidays by name. Well, I gotta say, Menzoid, I think it's imperative that all students, uh, all kids be taught the fact that Christ came, he died and resurrected for our sins, and then bunnies started laying eggs. I think it's crucial that everyone learn about <laughs> this. Uh, no, but uh, actually, Menzoid, I'll tell you what. Um, Easter as it is now symbolized and represented within common culture, it's very much to ha how you know Santa Claus has taken over the Christ figure um, uh, within Christmas, so too the Easter Bunny and the little chickadees over, yep. o over Easter. Um, but the fact that the, the secular progressives cannot, who, who have run amok basically in mm. this government and even more so within the United States under Obama, um, cannot even tolerate the bloody bunny okay, mm. or Santa Claus, okay, uh, shows me how allergic they have become to Christian, Judeo-Christian culture. And there is, in fact, a war no longer being raged on just Christmas, or you even told me about St. Patrick's Day, yes. and the, the validity to that war as well in many ways. Um, but it, it's, it's, it's a war on traditional forces. Mm. And the only force that will stop this progressive secularization running even more amok to the point where, you know, uh, Ramadan will be celebrated and, and put up across the, uh, the, the billboards, but Christmas, no, no, it's only well, happy holidays. It, you know, Faith, you, ma you make a couple good points. First of all, there's actually, you know, the perverse irony here is that there is actually nothing biblical about Easter bunnies and colored eggs. Nothing. Zero. Um, I read the book. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's funny you mentioned Ramadan. Uh, last uh, September, I went by a York Regional Police uh, Depot and uh, they had uh, a happy Ramadan message scrawling on their electronic message board. Now, personally, I have no problem with that. You know, it's, 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 it's September, it's Ramadan, you know, so they're wishing Muslims a happy Ramadan. But I took a picture of that message board because I thought, I'm gonna go by here in December and see what- Let me what, guess what happened. No Christmas, the C word, the holiday that dare not speak its name. So, you know, if we're trying to separate church and state, if that's your argument, then why the double standard when it comes to holidays of a different faith being acknowledged? Because uh, there's white men's guilt, there's the guilt of the fact that, you know, this is a Judeo-Christian uh, uh, nation, we've had our time in the limelight, and really, you know, this is the post trudovian era, uh, era of multiculturalism, et cetera, et cetera. But getting back to a point that I want to make is that the only force that will fight back towards a secular progressive uh, um, um, uh, tyranny and war, really, is the traditional culture. That is the only, you cannot expect, that you, you got to get Jews, Christians, uh, Muslims, if they're not feeling represented, to push back against this progressive spirit, against this progressive uh, um, a muzzle that they've been putting on us. Uh, Christians and Jews were not promised an easy life in their mm. scripture. It, we were always told that we were going to be swimming against the tides. But we also have to testify. We have to be the ones who are writing to the MPs, who are writing to our kids' schools that are now, you know, handing out uh, spring spheres as opposed to, you know, caramel eggs with the word Easter on them. It's beyond parody and uh, the war on all our sensibilities and culture 
uh, seems to be gaining momentum. Yeah, and you know what? It, not not just your satirical essay, 1984. Check it out, folks. Like I feel sometimes that you know, uh, uh, and, and Handmaid's Tale. Less I say the those words, Margaret Atwood. Uh, <laughs> but you know, talks of the fact that basically, you know, you stop a, a, a female society from reading, then they are no longer able to read it a lot, and then they're eventually uh, controlled by their husbands. Well, if we're no longer exposed to certain content, then you cannot help but basically defer to whatever content you are exposed to. Right. Right. Um, Judeo-Christianity, what was this nation's roots? And look no further than the former Soviet Union or contemporary Europe to what uh, to see what happens when you abandon Judeo-Christian roots. As a nation, as a people, as a world power, you start to degrade and decline. Absolutely. Well, Faith, I know you're a devout Christian, so I'm going to wish you a happy Easter, a happy Good Friday. I know I'm probably upsetting the sensibilities of this principle uh, in Alabama, but I'm going to wish you that anyways. And thank you again for coming on the Man Cave. Always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, happy then. Easter. Happy Easter indeed. And folks, keep it tuned to Men's Way Mornings. More coming up right after this.